Ah, oh, Travis Wayne did so. Rough morning. Don't drink. Because my DNA informs me that my body is a lightweight. And so I naturally am predisposed to stay away from it. But nonetheless, I still have rough mornings. At least I'm not throwing up. I hate throwing up. Ugh. I did it as a kid when I got sick once. I still remember hovering over my mom's uh, toilet, parents' toilet, barfing up a lung and thinking, I, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. So yeah, I've programmed myself never to throw up again, but with my allergies to pollution, I find myself forcing myself to hack up the phlegm, protecting me from breathing in the polluted air. So uh, apparently, Lots of people are liking my uh, anniversary of 22 January, September. <coughs> That's interesting. TWG is getting the views. Travis Wayne did sell. Everybody stays away from. <laughs> I'm confused on that one. Maybe they know the name and they stay away. But TWG, I wonder who this is. <laughs> uh, the opening prayer, or opening hymn, <laughs> is Color of the Night by Lauren Christie <clears throat> from a Bruce Will Willis movie, Color of Night. And then the uh, closing hymn, we got to keep it going all month long. Earth, Wind, and Fire, September. Uh, there's additional information. Uh, if you saw the description below, you will have seen the links to Sukkot and to time and date that is for uh, 1827. <coughs> this September is Sukkot. And, uh, uh, I should check. Hold on a second. I'm wondering if we've got a first and last, last is first thing going on here. Let me just check. Just, uh, play the Earth, Wind, and Fire song as the elevator music while I check on this. So we've got to go to 1823, and then we got to do Major Jewish. Okay, last day of Sukkot, almost, very close. <laughs> it's in Sukkot, so yes, just as I suspected. First shall be last, last shall be first. Wow, that is awesome. <laughs> the 21st is the night that Moroni, which decoded from the decoding that the church thinks they're correcting Joseph on, <coughs> the founder of the church, oh, he's wrong, he doesn't know what he's talking about, it's not Nephi, it's Moroni, we know better than Joseph. Joseph had to deal with that kind of thing his whole term. He even had a section of the Doctrine and Covenants written <laughs> to put the elders in their place. You do not know better than me. Cut it out. <laughs> and, and, and yet, still to this day, the church still thinks that Joseph Smith doesn't know what he was doing and that he needs to be corrected. Oh, it wasn't translation, which is code for code. 
it was revelation but he already has revelator well he doesn't know what he's talking about he's the founder he, he just doesn't know but he does go with uh, my uh, uh, philosophy of science instructor uh, he said you don't have to be the best in your field you just have to be the first to come out with a discovery that nobody else has come out with before. So, a new invention in any particular field. You don't have to be the best at it. You just have to be the first. So, the pet rock, you don't have to be the best at it. You just have to be the first one to bring out the pet rock. That's that simple. But, uh, yeah, the Jewish holiday of Sukkot, which is also Tabernacles, which is also the in-gathering, gathering of the latter days, Moses, Exodus, Passover. That's fascinating how this is working here. And so, the first year, 20, or 1823, uh, the 22nd was during Sukkot. Feast of Ingathering. And then the 27th, as you could have seen in the descriptions for the videos yesterday, oh, it took forever. And they were picking on me on the Travis Wayne Goodsell one, not letting me put it up, shutting off my internet. But uh, the 27th, 1827, 1827, rough morning. And uh, I reuse Gatorade, or yeah, is it Gatorade? Yeah, it's Gatorade. Uh, I boil my water, and because I boil my water, uh, the plastic eventually leaks. And uh, so I disposed of one yesterday. But I don't trust Utah water. There was mercury poisoning reported yesterday in some place. Utah just does not care about our lives. <clears throat> so much poisoning that they're doing. Uh, so yeah, 1827 uh, is the new year. Rosh Hashanah. And, uh, and so yes, as I just confirmed, uh, 2017 is uh, the 22nd of September was the new year which the 23rd then came out and, uh, during the new year holiday for the Jews and then this year the 22nd is Sakat. first shall be last last shall be first awesome it just blows my mind. And there was a, on the 1827 September, there was also a sign in the heavens. <coughs> and I, when I first made the discovery, I still hadn't put all the pieces of the research puzzle together yet to know exactly what was going on. And so I was thinking that maybe Joseph was thinking that he was the one and that that was the sign from Revelation 12 because it's so close nope it's still 2017 and they knew this case in point the way they coded church history for this subject with Nephi giving Joseph the gold Egyptian plates and I've gone over with you uh, in other videos how uh, Joseph senior as a new Israelite a congregationalist religion which is involved in latter-day prophecy so the book of Revelation and uh, Jewish mysticism with the tree of life and thus his tree of life dreams 
come from that experience. And, uh, uh, and so when Joseph botches the 116 pages, Senior steps in and uh, puts in his dreams for that. And it's interesting that Lucy Mack in her journal uh, talks about how when Joseph presents them with the Book of Mormon, it was so close to seniors' dreams that they knew it was true. <laughs> Lucy is in on it. She knows. She purposely wrote her journal <laughs> to keep the code going, to keep the distance away from what the actual history is. She also, when talking about uh, uh, Joseph uh, in the first vision, <clears throat> we see it as he has his first vision, then talks to his mom, I have learned for myself that Presbyterianism is not true, and that Joseph claims that many of his family are joining the Presbyterian Church. No. So Lucy, in her journal, she gets to that point where she could explain to us in her own words about joining the Presbyterian Church and her feelings behind it and blah, 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 and, and she doesn't. She defers to Joseph's 1838 account. <laughs> Hilarious. Because... The uh, Presbyterian is the guy who officiated over Alvin's funeral when he died in 1823 and is the one who said he's going to burn in hell because he didn't get baptized or whatever. Yeah, that's the kind of guy you want to pay money for a funeral service for your loved one. <laughs> so, why are the family joining that church? Oh, okay, we trust and believe you because you're trashing our son who has died. Yeah, good thinking. That's why the church, as missionaries, we would pray upon those who lost children so that we can trick them into joining the church and paying tithing. Right, Nelson? You wouldn't do such a thing like that with twin daughters that died on your surgery table so I, this is the the thing that I brought out in the video that I had to insert at the beginning of it all of church scripture LDS scripture Mormon scripture the Book of Mormon Doctrine and Covenants church history with the Pearl Great Prize because there's some codes in there too with the others. Uh, and even the Bible. Joseph Smith says, yeah, the Bible too. Uh, as history, none of it is true. There's anachronisms. That's the big key to identifying, hey, nope, somebody else is writing this and making up a story and it may be a moral story that they're telling, it may be a prophecy, as scripture is the case, talking about the latter days, and code, but as history, it's just false, it's not true. And so, any religion, not just Mormon religion, you know, Christianity, <coughs> Bruce R. McConkie used to write that the Catholic Church was the great and abominable church that would fall in the latter days. Oh, no, Bruce. <laughs> the Holy Roman Empire under Constantine was the original Christianity. He created it out of nothing. He created a Greek word out of nothing. Called it the new God out of nothing. And then said Jesus was now historical. <clears throat> and thus said, by changing the Gospels into history, false. They're not history. They're prophecies 
of the latter days, just like the book of Revelation. You just have to see it in code for the stories that they're telling. Jesus, even though he's supposed to be called Emmanuel, is still translated as Yah, the Hebrew God, the Savior. And so it's a deity story where the deity is among humans doing all sorts of stuff. But it's prophecy code for the latter days. Just like the Greeks and Romans, they have their myths as we call them because it's anthropomorphic deities mingling with humans on earth. They're code in the same manner that the scriptures were written. So you just replace Jesus with Hercules, ta-da! Or Jesus with Horus, ta-da! Or others from other religions. And so even the Jews, they think that their Old Testament, the Torah, is true history. Yet, with the case of King David, they're desperately doing archaeology for anything that will support that King David was king over Jerusalem. They're never going to find it because they're thinking it's real history. It's code for the 18th dynasty David Moseses. And it's just frustrating that nobody sees this. The religions have have deceived and brainwashed their people so well over these centuries, millennia, that uh, it's just unbelievable. But, uh, I mean, Christianity can't be the great and abominable church, as Bruce R. says it is, or Catholics, because the Holy Roman Empire collapsed. It fractured into orthodoxies. So your Russian, Greek, Eastern, Western orthodoxies, and your Roman orthodoxy. <clears throat> and then the Reformation was the further shattering of the orthodoxies into all the various Christian religions. And so you can't identify one Christian religion. None of them are the same. They're all separate and yet they still want to be considered the same. <laughs> You're not. And so, yeah, it's got to be some other church. That's the great abominable church. Falls to Mormons. Because the prophets and the Mormons, the Mormon church, are the only religion fulfilling latter-day scriptures. That's just mind-boggling. As Joseph said, yeah, that's how it is. <laughs> this church that I have set up is going to be the one that fulfills prophecy with the great and abominable church. It's going to take over this organization of mine. I'm likely to die <coughs> and be murdered. And I know that it's Brigham Young because I keep calling him Judas. It's just unbelievable. That's just mind-boggling. And for uh, the Book of Mormon, uh, identifying the code right there in 1 Nephi for 2017. Dear God, I had previously known about Trump with uh, James Ingersoll's uh, 1900 book, uh, The Last President, as well as the uh, uh, amazing journey of Baron Trump, or whatever it's called. <coughs> but uh, to have him put into the presidency by Russia, just as Zedekiah was put in by Babylon, whoa, in 2017. They had detailed accounts of the threat to America. Unbelievable to be that precise. 
and so yeah the 22nd I'm paying very close attention to if they were that accurate with 2017 not just the signs in the heavens but the events that took place on earth as coded in the Book of Mormon <laughs> I'm paying very close attention so I'm a little concerned as to my safety for this coming date as I'm here in ground zero but we'll see so uh, yeah uh, Moses is coded for the Christ I did that three and a half hour video and TWG has 75 views. I think the uh, Travis Wayne Goodsell one has 50 views for that. Somewhere around there. But that's been a week ago. I'm amazed that there are those who are watching these long ones. But I guess the other critical channels have been conditioning you for this. Even the Mormon ones. Uh, they also have long videos too. Yeah, uh, it's real simple. As Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ hovering over the air with Joseph Smith in the spring of 1820 as history, false, decoded as the latter day Moses, Joseph being the first Mo or the first Christ, and then the latter day Moses as the latter day Christ, first and the last true as uh, the Joseph getting the plates decoded true as history no no it's bizarre how Mormons defend to the death that it's real history <laughs> as all critics are like uh, Mormons are so blind and dumb and yet they don't realize it's code. Ex-Mormons don't realize it's code. They think that Joseph is just a liar, liar, pants on fire. <laughs> no, guys. Joseph had nothing to do with it. He was a babysitter for Martin Harris. That was it. That was his job. And he blew it. <laughs> he kept the kid up too late, and the kid went amok. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, with the priesthood stuff, with the angels giving it to Joseph, as history, false, never happened, as code, true, and so, yeah, there's Nelson, you know, the prophets, they've been paying attention to my videos, uh, the scandal before conference that I was hoping to see some generation for that for this conference as I said for this conference they're going to take away the Melchizedek priesthood this time <laughs> but they're going to do away with the Book of Mormon was before the April conference huge success it's amazing night and day yeah they're not allowing me to have views anymore on YouTube. Even yesterday's birthday wish to Nelson, they had to shut it down. <laughs> there was a rush to put thumbs down on my videos, on that video. You'd think that Mormons would allow Nelson to be the one to determine the quality of my birthday gift to him. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Nelson was saying uh, a couple of months ago, he was talking to uh, the new group of uh, mission presidents and said that the the truth of the history of church history is what gives him his authority 
and it's just, wow, yeah, none of it's true, Nelson. You have no authority. You're right. <laughs> the fact is, is that the history of the founding of the church is encoded, and when it's decoded, it exposes you as the latter days false prophet. And so they know this. That's the thing. You know, Mormons already know, the church knows everything, the prophets already know it all. We are mortal scum compared to them. But it's it's dark and, and very scary because they do know. So when they, Nelson gets up for his uh, solemn assembly at the end there and announces a temple in Russia, oh my god, I just jaw dropped because I'd already had confirmed the the first day of darkness and the, the coming of the man-child from Revelation 12 the sign of the dragon that's also in 12 and then the tail of the dragon had just been Monson that was his sign with the lunar eclipse because the prophets are all the only ones involved betray America and at the same time betray the church and so here we are he's a medical doctor during the prophesied coronavirus prophesied a medical doctor and he's telling Mormons to use magic to cure it He had the opportunity to show Mormons. And so my video for his birthday, uh, one person missed it. Uh, they commented about the tithing thing that's in there. That was not the intention. See, Nelson, if you pay attention to what clips I put in for him, he's condemning the priesthood for not giving blessings to heal and ease the poor and the suffering. And he makes the comment, we can fix this. It doesn't have to happen. And so then I get into the suffering that has happened under Nelson. And showing the tithing part to illustrate that yes they can fix this they're not they're allowing the suffering of Mormons that's the point Nelson had an opportunity to demonstrate a real blessing to the Mormons he couldn't do it So, the final quote from Scripture, section 121, many are called, but few are chosen. Amen. So, time to go for a run, and then I'll come back and upload this for you. But just, if you're going to call it history, you're wrong. But if you want to decode it, I technically added another uh, skill set, I guess, or title for uh, my, uh, my uh, job application. I'm now a decoder. So that's kind of cool. <laughs> I'm an ABC Darian, a lexicographer. Dream Interpreter and, and other stuff that I've listed somewhere. <laughs> but, uh, 
don't have to be the best, just have to be the first.